Chibok was not known to many people until April 2014. That's when Boko Haram abducted 276 girls from their school. It resulted in an international outcry for their release. Muta Garba's daughter, Hawa, was among those taken. She still hasn't come home. Since it was against my will that my daughter was taken, my heart is not at rest. I keep thinking every day why these wicked people have not released them. I'm worried why my daughter is not out yet. More than three years after the girls were kidnapped from a school in Chibok community, 113 still remain in captivity. But the recent release of some of the girls in exchange for Boko Haram leaders has led to increased hopes that many more may soon be let go. In the past year, more than 100 girls have been set free. Some of their parents died while waiting for their return. But community leaders say they're encouraged by the support received from different groups. They visit us and do a trauma counseling, counseling them, comfort them, and some even give material aid and uh, cash or in kind to the parents. Uh, some sponsor or pay for their hospital bill free of charge. The government says negotiations are continuing to ensure the release of the remaining girls. But Muta and other parents hope it will be enough. We are poor and these things are bigger than us. They keep saying they are trying to rescue the girls. We just have to listen to what they say and follow their instructions. But for now, the parents here have to wait, hoping their daughters come home soon. Fidelis Mba, TLT World, Chibok, Northern Nigeria.